Now that is freaking awesome. Check that out, man. They've got every color in the rainbow here, as long as some ones that probably haven't been discovered yet. We could be like Lewis and Clark, you know, always finding all these fun little colors. So the flavors here are actually really original. My favorite being mojito down there, which I believe is a mix of white rum, lime, and, well, a secret ingredient. But they've also got raspberry, um, something called honey hibiscus, which is just insane, passion fruit, and cup of joe. Wow, this is just an eclectic mix of everything under the sun. You could frame this as a, oh, oh no, don't you dare, you stick, no, no, no. You could frame this as some sort of poster if you're so inclined to, hmm, yeah, easily. So I'm gonna go for the mojito one, simply because it's green, and, well, you know what they say about things that are green. It's kind of, that, 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 gotcha. Okay, now it does, oh, the scent is just, I don't even have to bring it up to my nose to experience the scent it brings to the table. I tell you what I do have to bring it up to for the tasting. Let's go ahead and take a bite. Oh, that white rum is really hitting the spot. Have I told you how much I love you lately? Hey, later we can go back and... Oh, mm, sorry about that. I just kind of got captured by the chocolate. Uh, you know, I don't usually drink a lot. I had vodka once when I was a child, and it tasted like cough syrup. It was horrible. And it was green apple vodka, too, which was my favorite fruit at the time. This, however, is fantastic. You're not going to get drunk off of it, but it's got a nice smooth ganache on it that dances on your tongue like little lily pads. Oh, so yeah, I figure if you eat enough, maybe you can get a nice buzz, but in terms of getting that sweet, sweet love so you can make sweet love, these are fantastic. 5.5 papayas out of 6.